All right, I think we're live. I've been having trouble with my lives lately, and they haven't been posting for whatever reason. I don't know. Um, building an audience, great. So as this post says, three ways to get everything. So as you know, gold medal mindset, business, sport, life, winning in business, sport, life. So I've separated things out into three categories, and that would be health slash weight loss, career and money, and then happiness and fulfillment. So right off the bat, I want to be quick. I want to give the, have a lot of value for you in this video. Three ways, health, weight loss, eat less, number one. Number two, exercise more. And number three, and most importantly, change your thinking about yourself. Eating less, you have more in the tank. Exercising more, you will realize how much you have in the tank the more you do it. Now, will it require crack calories? I'm not here as a health expert. I'm not here as your gym trainer. But the purpose of doing this, specifically with weight loss, is to recognize your limits. And when it comes to our health and our wellness, changing our thinking about ourselves, that's why most people tend to self-medicate. Because we're not feeling too good about ourselves. And some people self-medicate with substance. Some people self-medicate with food. So eat less, exercise more, change your thinking about yourself. Your health benefits will go through the roof. All right, career and money. Pretty simple. I did a video on this, my Ruled In series. I actually have an ebook coming out with, with those rules. But real quick, career and money. Offer something of real value that people want to pay for. So you may have something great, but if it, no one wants it or if it doesn't have any value for someone else, well, then that's going to be difficult to make money off of. And number two, once you have something of real value, execute on the delivery of that thing with speed and or efficiency. So the bottom line is once you have something and they want it, get it to them as best you can. Just get it to them as best you can. And number three, and most importantly, the mindset piece with career and money, change your thinking about what is possible, not only for yourself, but for your client, your customer, the world. These are the Elon Musks. These are the Russell Simmons. These are the, uh, I don't know, Oprah Winfrey's. But change your possibilities. Change your thinking about the possibilities of, of what's possible. Uh, to be redundant. Uh, now, number three, to cap this off, um, you know, we have the health and weight loss in order because we've changed our thinking about ourselves. Uh, we're exercising more, reading less. We've got the career and money thing going on. We're, we're offering something of value to some people. We're getting it to them with speed and efficiency and top level service because we're thinking about our, the world's possibilities and what we have to offer. So let's cap this off. Let's put the icing on the cake with the happiness and fulfillment. And that's to recognize you have choices. So we're not all from the same backgrounds. We're not all from the same places, but we do have choices. And unfortunately for others, it's harder than others. But that's okay because we do have the choice. So sometimes we're faced with two bad choices. Sometimes we're faced with two great choices. Sometimes we're faced with polar opposites, but recognize you have the choice and the power to do something about your situation. Number two, going along with choices. Own your story. Value it. Again, we're not all from the same story, but whatever you went through, been through, gone through, jumped over, went under, over, or around, that story has value, which leads to number three. Owning that story, valuing that story. Number three's mindset issue, no, not issue, point, excuse me, number three's mindset point is for health, I mean, for happiness and fulfillment, I actually took notes for this one, focus your thinking towards other people, share that story, share that story, mentor somebody, coach somebody, spread the word, connect with somebody, it doesn't always have to be mentoring or coaching, it could just be calling an old friend, it could be uh, dropping in on, on your old neighbor from back in the day. It could be checking in on moms or pops. It could be uh, handing the phone to your son so they talk to their grandparents. It's focusing that story outward. It's focusing on someone else's well-being and someone else's happiness. And that's it. That's the win. 
So there's three things in each category, and the third thing in each category had something to do with how we think and our mindset towards that. So with that said, the final three things that get everything you want. Change your thinking about yourself for the positive. Change your thinking about the possibility for yourself and the world and others. And number three, leading to a more happy and fulfilled life would be focus your thinking outward. Most depression... Most sadness is, stems from us focusing on ourselves. Woe is me. Woe is me. And so when we focus that toward other people in a positive manner, then our happiness meter tends to grow up exponentially. All right. That's it. Connect with me on Facebook. Private message me. I would love to work with you and for you. Um, because these things I mentioned, they are simple, but they're not always that easy. And that's what I do. I help people line these things up so, so that it becomes easier for them. And I help, I help people get what they want through this. That's the championship life. That's the gold medal mindset. That's getting on the program. So connect with me, Twitter at real Dr. J rich, or visit my website, drjasonrichardson.com. And you can always private message me. Thank you, and uh, I hope you crush it in 2017. I want to be there to see it. Otherwise, have a great Christmas. Have a great Kwanzaa. Have a great Hanukkah. Have a great holiday celebration, whatever it is you want. I'm not going to take offense if you say Merry Christmas, Happy Hanza, or Merry Kwanzaa to me, because I know I have the choice to accept the fact that that's just someone wishing well for me, and I'm wishing well for you. Take care. And we'll see you the next time.